blunts coming up. No way. Backed up, dude. That's so dope. It's daylight savings, too. We lost. One less hour of sleep, one extra hour of shred. Jackson being such a small town, like, there wasn't really much else to do besides snowboarding, and that was kind of like, you know, my heroes had become snowboarders or whatever out of Jackson. And so I just, like, looked up to them and just kind of followed their path. I think without Jackson and without having that mountain and that atmosphere to grow up in and kind of like be inspired by in like progressing over the years, like I just maybe wouldn't have had the opportunity to snowboard as much as I did or ride as much like powder as I did at a young age. I'm definitely glad my parents moved there like when I was seven. sick when we were growing up. It's not like super often that Jonas and Jake and Joe and Zach, and even like Ricky Tucker and stuff too, like all those dudes, it was insane. 
even when they weren't there, there was still like 20 friends having a session every single day. And it didn't matter what the conditions were because that's where all of our friends were going. So whether it was good or bad, or if you even went there and didn't ride for three hours, you were just hanging out with your friends. It was like, that was just the spot to be. Because even if it's a super icy night, everyone's been riding everything the way that you would think they've been riding it, like the normal way, how you would assume. We would start jumping over things like sideways and still finding where the snow was good and making those lines fun. So we were always making sure that we were getting the best out of it. If we embrace it and everyone is like in that mentality, then whatever we do is gonna be cool. And same with like our friend Booty is pretty much takes, he doesn't take no for an answer. He's like, dude, we're gonna have a sick time. Minnesota Rail Gardens. I guess we had to go and kind of just assess our snow situation considering it's 56 degrees and sunny right now. It's kind of like the equivalent to the Utah Rail Garden. It's like our, our really well-known spot, you know? So it's a spot that we went to quite a few times when we were younger. There's a bunch of stuff that's been done. I think what's special about kids kind of growing up here and everything is definitely that tow rope that we have. It's kind of like, like we've been to Elm now and Highland and we're about to go to Trollhog and they all have the same style tow rope where it's purely just a rope that spins on these wheels and gets you up the hill. Whereas most other places, if they have even something like a rope, it's usually got a little bar that you hang on to and it goes super slow. But this one moves fast. I mean, I want to say from top to bottom, back to the top. So like one full loop was one minute. Yeah, I mean, if you rode for one hour, you could get 60 laps. You just get a psycho amount of laps every single day that you go there. Like when we were kids, I know that there were people before Jonas and, and Zach and Ricky and all them. You know, as you watch them, you can tell they're like actually best friends. And then we sort of did the exact same thing. We kind of had our crew, then we started learning like what we thought was really cool as we were like looking up to them. This other crew of kids that I really like called the Dirty Boys. Yeah, it's like next generation. And there's even like, now there's kids below them even. It's super cool. The community is insane.
it's obviously like everybody has a crew that they like made videos with or like first ever like went out filming with and I think that's like the best way to get started is just with your close friends and like learning. And you look back at all the videos and you're just like embarrassed. And then you like get a little older and then you're like less embarrassed and you're more just like stoked. It's pretty funny how it goes. Three, two, Oh, <laughs> 